It was the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. You're uh, right now at Sir George St. Cartier National Historic Site. Hopes that St. Nicholas. This is the house of one of the fathers of Confederation, Sir George St. Cartier. The children were nestled all snug in their beds. Here you have a reconstruction of, of the house in which he lived. It's hardly a coincidence if you can see such a beautiful table during Christmas time, because that man was renowned to be a very excellent host. While visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. It was his place here, the place of the host, and the hostess, his wife, according to the French etiquette in the 19th century. If you invite her to the McDonald's, oh, I'm talking about John Alexander McDonald, our first prime minister, don't be too surprised to see the host and hostess seated at opposite ends of the table from each other. This is English etiquette. But here, you are at the Cartier. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. You will receive a lot of English speakers around that table, since most rich people, well-off people, were made up of uh, English speakers. It's not a coincidence that you will have, you will be served something like a plum pudding, a very traditional British dish, okay? But you will have also the turkey with smashed potatoes and cranberries, okay? And uh, that traditional dish, the pâté tourtière, coming from, we don't know exactly. A miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. This is that special dinner called le réveillon, uh, a, a special meal served upon the return of the mass, uh, at midnight, the midnight mass. It's called Réveillon. It's a special um, uh, tradition coming from France. It was a special meal to revive the senses. It's supposed to be the most beautiful table of the year. To the top of the Porsche, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly.